And so here is another one that I posted on Twitter. And you're probably familiar with this guy, but he got ran off Twitter. Oh, gosh. Because people... People were trying to defend him. I made a link. People I made a, will run you off Twitter for sure. They ain't, I'm standing on business. You ain't going to run me off Twitter. <laughs> Anything I say, I stand 10 toes mm-hmm. down behind. But this person, this I know people are fickle. He don't stand 10 toes behind this. And also, people are trying to defend him on the, my YouTube video of this because I posted this on YouTube and I think my TikTok. And I was just like, I don't care what y'all are saying. This dude got ran off of here and I couldn't stitch or do it this video for a reason because he don't want nobody to come back him. <laughs> but here it is. Only 500,000 people in the world have their CompTIA Network Plus. Only 500,000 people in the world have their CompTIA Security Plus. But not everybody who gets a Network Plus also has a Security Plus. The total number of people in the world right now who have their Network Plus and their Security Plus is probably closer to 50,000. But consider that we have over 750,000 unfilled cybersecurity jobs in the U.S. alone. Over 3 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs worldwide. So if you get your Network Plus and your Security Plus, you're in a good position to start your career in cybersecurity. You add in getting other certifications for minor skills like AZ900 and Splunk Core, and then learn hard skills like Linux, Python, and traffic analysis, make an e-portfolio and a one-page resume, and all of a sudden you're at the top 1% of applicants without experience. If it was so easy, then everybody would do it. But most people are not determined enough to buckle down for 90 days and get it done. If you're one of those few that can see the vision for how you can start your cybersecurity career, it can and should be done in 90 days. I did it. A whole bunch of my students have done it. It's about 300 hours of hard study every day for 90 days. It's happened before and it'll happen again. So, number one, and he forgot to leave out some of the other stuff he used to say on Twitter. He would tell people, oh, yeah, makeup, you got a degree. They're not going to check it. Apply to a thousand roles. Oh, gosh, that reminds me of somebody else about making your... Um, fake degree on uh, Canva. Canva. You talking about the girl, the PMP mm-hmm. plug? Her? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got her muted. She <laughs> follows me, but I got her muted. Uh, she follows you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? Before the whole fake PMP thing, I actually messaged her. I said, yo, I don't agree with what you say, but I'd love to have you on the show. She didn't respond. Wow. Yeah. She would be great to have on a podcast. I want to get people that I honestly disagree with Absolutely. on the show. Like, Because if you can convince me, you should be all right. But if you can't convince me, then I think that's the issue. People know they ain't going to be able to convince me. Yeah, because a lot of these people have been able to convince a lot of people. And, I mean, even at Thanksgiving, I ran into this girl who was getting her Network Plus, And she's like, yeah, I'm not sure. Should I really even be getting my Network Plus? Because I was told I need my Network Plus before I get my Security Plus. So that reminds me of this. Yeah, I say it's to each his own. Like, I told people this is why I'm not high on certifications. Now, granted, I tell people, if you want to get a government role, get your certifications. They meet a certain they, level. They and need those certifications and education a lot of the times to go work into those government And they're interviewing. Roles. But I heard they're actually finna start getting rid of some of that stuff. Are they? Yeah, one of my friends that's a prior military, well, he, come, he I currently works for Lockheed. He was telling me how they're finna do this new initiative where that's finna go away. But back in 2013, I studied for, I read the book in like a week or two, a real thick book. And by July, I had my sec plus. No previous security experience. I had took like a forensics class one the quarter, but I didn't, I wasn't ready to work nowhere. Right. So that, and mind you, that was what, two months, June, July. And all I had at the time, I was working retail at Target. So the video on here is selling you two to three hours a day. Mm-hmm. You can do all these things when people have kids, people work full time jobs. That's a lot of information to digest to possibly get you nowhere. Because there's no way possible you're going to retain all the information. That's similar to like uh, a nine weeks. Unless you're a genius. Right. Unless you're Mike Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike Ross. Or this girl, I've been watching this new show on Netflix called uh, Night Action. Or The Night Agent. The Night Agent. Oh, yeah, I watched Night Agent. That was good. And I didn't know the chick had a cybersecurity company. And she really got good. killed by uh, Insider Threat from whoever. I haven't got far. I'm like on episode two, but I was uh, telling my girls more. I was like, yeah, the show interests me because that's what we deal with. We're looking for like Insider Threats. Right. No, and it's a really like good that. show. But needless to say, it's no way possible you're going to digest Splunk. What is it? Security, supposedly networking, get some type of uh, Linux skills and all these other stuff. Make it, What are you going to be doing on the ePortfolio? So portfolio? he was throwing too much out there. Yeah. Um, and it is truly based on the individual. You know, we always say that. I mean, yeah. I get that these people, they, you know, they have a certain amount of time 
in their TikToks or whatever to be able to um, appeal to the masses. So they say whatever. But just because that individual is saying that and they may have 100,000 followers, I don't know how many he has, doesn't mean that it's right information. It truly is dependent on what you want to do. I find a lot of my clients come to me and they have zero clue about the role that even interests them. 